Hello, this is Ben Schaffer and welcome back to Hebrew Bible Verse a Day. Very, very exciting for me because we're starting off a new chapter, a new Perak. We're starting off the second chapter of Genesis of Horatius. And we're now with verse 1. If you remember, the first chapter was all about creation, the first six days of creation. The fish were made, the animals were made, man was made. The skies, the heavens, the earth, the light, everything. So we're now going straight in to chapter 2. Perek Sheni. Let's read the Hebrew first. Vayechulu hashamayim v'ha'aretz v'chol tzava'am. Now you may recognize this verse if you're Jewish on a Friday night. You say this verse before you make Kiddush, before you make the bracha, the blessing over wine so it may sound familiar to you let me just say it again in the hebrew let's read the english the translation and the heaven and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them let's uh, go through this a bit slower and uh, we'll see what the hebrew means Vayichulu, that means and they were finished, uh, completed. It's from the word kol, every is the modern Hebrew word. Hashamayim, if you've been following with us before, you'll know Shamayim is sky or heavens. V is and, Haaretz is land or earth. Vechol, and then once again that's all. Tzava'am, the hosts of them. So it's the possessive. And it is, um, it, it's, get, it's going to be plural because that's, because that's what we're talking about. So this is the first per pasuk in the second perik, the first verse of the second chapter. And what we're going to do now is just move on and uh, take one word and we'll read it slowly. So the word we've chosen is Tzava'am, which means the host of them. So let's look at the letters individually. The first letter is a Tzadi, and we've got two dots vertically underneath. So the Tzadi has a Tz sound, a bit like a T and a Z or a T and an S in English. And the two dots underneath is an U, uh, so it's Tz. The next letter is a Bet, but there's no dot in the middle, so it's a Vet. So it's a V sound, and because it's got a T underneath it, it's V. So we've got T, V. Now we've got an Aleph, which I guess is the closest we have in English to uh, a vowel letter. It's an A sound, the first letter of the alphabet, with a T underneath. It is also an A sound. So we've got T, V, A. And then the last letter, which you may not recognize, is a mem that's a mer sound but it's called a mem sofit because it's a mem sound which is used when the m is at the, when the mem is at the end of a word so here it doesn't actually have a vowel sound it's kind of a silent vowel a bit like mum mum isn't a syllable on its own um so let, let's read it together it's sir the um Tzva'am, Tzva'am, the host of them. So that pretty much wraps up the first verse of chapter 2 of Bereshit of Genesis. Um, if you would like to be informed of future videos, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel or go to HebrewBibleVerseAday.com uh, where you'll get notice of. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you could just either like this video, leave a comment, share, just take some engagement, some action so that I know you're out there. And that'd be absolutely great. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in verse 2.